To Phil Korshak, bagels are more than just what you eat for breakfast. They're a life philosophy. And here with me today is the bagel maestro himself, Phil. Tell us a little bit about the shop. I found this shop about a year and a half, two years ago, and secured it the month before COVID hit. Oh, wow. And built out the entire time COVID was happening, which was this tremendous gift because the community around me kept pushing for the thing that was true, which was hope. The neighbors came every day and offered hope. That's what we do every day now. Hope in the form of a bagel and some schmear. And some schmear, yeah. <laughs> the bagel floats. The schmear doesn't float so well. <laughs> so, uh, like, there's a lot of bagels in this town. Yeah. We are fortunate enough to have a lot of New York style bagels. Yeah. I believe that Philadelphia has their own style of bagels. Yeah. There's a few places that dabble in the Montreal. Yeah. What we, style is the Korshak? It's the Korshak style, because it can only happen right here. Mm -hmm. It can only happen with the bagel mongers who nurture the dough for 48 hours to get it to the place where it is in fact a bagel. The A bagel will go through 10 sets of hands before it finally becomes what it should be, which is somebody else's sustenance. The romance of it is to me in the sourdough starter, which is Helen, who is a little over nine years old right now, uh, who was born in our backyard with wild yeast in Austin, Texas, tap water and uh, high gluten flour, and the apple skins from uh, green apples that I made a pie for my mom. Inside of that sourdough starter is the energy of every human being who I have been with. It is the joy reverberating of all. And you, you have Helen with I, you, right? I do. Yo, show me Helen. That's what's up. This, this is Helen. Helen has been around so, so very long. Can and I take a whiff yeah, of Helen? Yeah, please, smell her. She, when my mother smelled her, my mother said that she smelled like spring rain. Oh, I can get that. And I can smell, like you were sent mentioning, like the green apples. Yeah. I and I just feel like, you know, when you, t like in movies, they touch like an ancient relic and then all of these images flash before their eyes. Yep. I think I just saw like every bagel that you've ever made and every yep. pie and every loaf of bread for the past nine years. That's, and, that's right. And you know what, having smelled it, I feel like there's a part of me in there now. That is absolutely true. Right that on. is, that is, Physically, <laughs> the, the wild yeast is everywhere, everywhere, and works on a time frame that is not ours. That is the piece about baking and community that is equal and common. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. And this is where every bagel at Korshak Bagels begins. That's right. Well, your bagels are truly an art form, and I can tell that you have a deep respect for the arts through your Helen Mirren starter, all the way through the poetry, your deep love and respect of poetry. So thanks so much for sharing your art with Philly. Thanks for coming by. It was really, really nice talking. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.